Hey guys, this is Shane from Acorn. Um, today we're going to be going over what a typical furnace service looks like and all the different components and safety equipment that are involved in these things. So first off, we'll go through the sequence of operations. So obviously you have a call for heat from your thermostat. First thing that's going to happen is your inducer motor is going to fire, which is going to prove that your exhaust is not blocked. Secondly, what happens is once these pressure switches close, you're going to have hot surface igniter, which is your, we don't have standing pilots anymore. All these new units are equipped with hot surface ignition. Um, so that thing is going to fire up and start to glow. When that happens and gets to a certain temperature for a certain period of time, your gas valve is going to open and boom, we have ignition. Um, there is a thermostat inside the heat exchanger which will then cue once it reaches a certain temperature we will get uh, your blower motor will start to turn and that's when you get your hot air start to blow so when we are servicing a furnace first things first we do look at filters in the unit which should be checked about every three months obviously not everyone has four inch pleated filters but that is something that you as a homeowner can check on your own without us coming to check it obviously as we would every year for an annual inspection so going through some of the safety components on here there is multiple limit switches and disc limits which we would be testing through our uh, multimeters um, we would be ohming out your hot surface igniter cleaning your flame rod, which is what senses the flame. Uh, in case there was a misfire, it doesn't just keep pouring gas out into the atmosphere or into the furnace. It would shut itself down immediately. So that's an important piece um, that needs to be cleaned. These are all your different pressure switches, which I touched on. Um, we'd be testing those with, uh, with a manometer. I was seeing if they're opening and closing at the right UF. Um, lots of other things on here. As you can see, there's uh, all this new equipment has multiple different safeties that some of the older stuff does not. Um, we would also be amping your inducer assembly. So testing what the motors are pulling as long as well as your blower motor down here. Now, high efficient furnaces have two heat exchangers to pull your exhaust through a secondary heat exchanger, which scrubs all that latent heat that used to go up the flue. In turn, that condenses. So this is a condensate trap here and all these little hoses collect it and bring it down into here. And then it is disposed of down your drain with a condensate neutralizer. Condensate's acidic, that's why we use neutralizers. So this is important to keep clean as well on an annual service. Um, testing your gas pressures, just to ensure that you are getting optimal gas flow through your burners. Um, also inspecting your burners and what the flame color looks like is also very important. Uh, visual inspection is essentially what we do with every furnace service. Um, if we notice that there's something off, then we will have to go further to pull the burners out, see what's going on, see if there's any blockage, clogs. And then secondly, taking a look at your heat exchanger within the unit with a camera. Um, so those are kind of the basic things that we do with the furnace service at Acorn. Now, um, if you ever have any questions going forward, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at acornheat.ca.